If you've ever wondered what it takes to make an episode of the world's toughest fixes, you are in luck. As a lock fills with almost 50 million gallons of water, the water level inside slowly rises up 113 feet. Pretty cool. Going again, ready? We're going behind the scenes to see what it takes to fix the problem and tell the story. We can all be asphyxiated and die, so for that reason, we decided we'd rather not be there. In this episode, Riley and the National Geographic TV crew are on location to film one very big damn fix. The lock has two gates that open and close to allow traffic to come in and out. Now, those two gates are essential to the lock's operation. They have to seal tightly to keep in the 49 million gallons of water that fit in here. They're at the John Day Dam on the Columbia River to repair a busted lock. Well, I can feel the cold air coming up. This hole is a place very few people ever get to see. Every tough fix offers a rare chance to explore all angles of an engineering marvel. 99.99 of the time, the space I'm walking through is filled with high pressure water. Hey, Riley, we hand this me? But to get any of it on tape means hey. hauling all of the camera and audio gear around, too. It takes a lot of work just to get a single interview, oh, like man. this one with a tugboat crew member. How many times do you have to do this a day? Yeah, we've done it up to nine times a day. Once the camera crew is in place, the crew must shoot and reshoot every word and every action to get it all just right. Even when they do it perfectly, there's no guarantee it will end up in the final show. Like this scene. It's really not ready for action until we get the mechanics hooked up, then we'll need to lift it up and down so we can close off the water. In the end, these are the only shots that were used. Gonna put this keeper pin in, tighten that off, and this section will be done. We're ready to move on to cutting our counterweights loose and testing the motors. A hard-working rigger by trade, Riley is well suited for this kind of work. Rigging is rigging is rigging. We're rigging up the helicopter to catch some film. Riley put his skills to the test with a complicated shot descending down the side of the dam. But Riley isn't the only person on the crew with a few tricks up his sleeve. People that know what I normally do. The sound guy actually <laughs> shoots the entire show. Eric just sits around and does email on his phone. I'm really busy. I gotta line up my next, my next gig. Hold on. All right, I got you. I got you. Hang on. I gotta change my level. Got it. Got it. Follow me. Stay with me. Eric, I'll give you another three or four He's minutes on the camera today. He's a one-man production army. <laughs> you just need, you need to be talking here. Eric, we just need, like, a clipboard. The new world. Can you help this one for me, too? <laughs> Riley even tried his skills as a cameraman. I'm going to clip this part off right here, right off to your nipple. And then this is going to go right up in the nostril. And it's just going to be a non-stop nostril shot. Well, that'll be on the air, for sure. Then again, maybe Riley better leave that to the professionals. You guys, this behind the scene thing has gone way too far. 